It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Wax is hell. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are we doing, man? I didn't. I, come I here, think, Nyla. Stand in front. Of yeah, you. Nyla, come here. Can you just stand in front of the camera? You can bring your case. <laughs> who do y'all think Nyla's favorite rapper is? Yeah. <laughs> you can tell who somebody's favorite rapper is by the way they dress. Yeah. Who do you think Nyla's favorite rapper is? Everybody guess. Guess. You can see the kicks? Uh, yeah, you yeah, you're kicks? good. I would say Missy Elliott. Man, shut what? up. What? Oh. Yeah, my fault. I'm sorry you asked. I'm sorry. I would say, <laughs> who do you think, Andrew? Um, I think there's like some Tyler, the creator there. Okay. Nah, Tyler way fresher than that. You think? I think her album's <laughs> <laughs> I really think. The kicks, the kicks match, man. What are you talking I about? Think the no, 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 no. Nyla be fresh. Nyla do be fresh. Nyla be fresh. Nyla be fresh. Nyla be fresh. Nyla be fresh. Nah, the death. outfit is fresh. Nah, she fresh. But yeah. are those actual snowboard pants? That's why I can, said. Can I ask you a question? And this is like, don't take this any any weird way. Why are there like ventilation pockets in the crotch area? Yeah, I, I really don't know. I got these. Nala be so fresh though, because Nala is like casual fresh. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like she could like if she was drinking out of a red cup, you might walk by and put some change in it, but you'd be like, nah. <laughs> She'd be like, nah. You'd be like, nah. And, not with them fresh the shoes, sneakers. Yeah, the, yeah, the sneakers, the throw, sneakers. It off, like, throw it off. Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> so you say Tyler, you say Missy. Because of the baggy pants. Who do you, you think? Who do you think, Charlotte? Who do you think she looks like? What do you think? Oh, that's J. Cole all day. That's definitely. 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. That's, riding I like the, bike. the fit. And she loves that. She loves the city like bike. The bike. Oh, my too. God. Oh, <laughs> you do? Yes. Uh, I didn't know that. You have, you have a bicycle? You ride a bicycle? That's what J. Cole do. Nah, the city wow. bike that you rent in the city. She just dropped an M bomb on me, bro. She did? That's what she said. Yeah. I ain't hear it. What? <laughs> tell me, cracker. Tell me what you wear. <laughs> tell me what you wear. It's a cracker ass. <laughs> Yo, his face is like, that felt pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, listen, how was the shows this weekend, man? Oh, it was crazy, man. It was wow. crazy. Andrew Same Schultz man. was out here looking like a goddamn rock star, man. Really? That, was, that shit brought a tear to my eye. I'm not gonna lie. You did text me. Oh, no, man. I did, it's man, because that shit just like, I just like to see my motherfuckers winning, man. I like seeing my people winning, and that shit was like, yeah. Damn, yeah, yo, level. Andrew took the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, because there's no elevator to success. You got to take yeah. them fucking yeah. stairs. Yeah. And yeah. when you yeah. take them stairs and get to where you want to be, that shit looks like, whoa. Nah, yeah. I felt good, You'll be man. in shape. It was, cool. yeah, it was it really fucking right cool. And it was, it was just cool to experience it with all my guys, too. Like That's the best it's part. It's the same yeah, crew. Like I, I mean, Fire. just having all the guys that I've known from like literally before this. You know, like I knew Dove. Who's who's basically managing all these things? I knew him, my first friend in college, mm -hmm. Jamil, who's been you know selling our ads. Like I knew that's my first friend in high school. Like to have them all be part of this whole thing, and like wow. Alex Media, you know, after Greg, obviously, but mm -hmm. like first person doing the the video and the visuals and all this stuff, and then Mark mm -hmm. coming along, and then Vala, and all these other people, Miles, like everybody's just been part of it. Like opportunity, prove themselves. We execute. That's right. That's like a team, team, man. Strong one. That's it. And then yeah, they're making it easier for the next generation. Because even listening to Mark, Mark was like, man, I was doing fucking open mics two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, now yeah. I'm in front of, you know, 3,000 people performing. Oh, yeah, it's just like, yo, that's yeah, what you're yeah. supposed to do. You're supposed yeah. to make it easier for the people coming behind yeah. you. But, but they uh, earn it, though. They I, earn it. Word that's up, the thing. Like, no, nothing's given here. It's like, that's right. you get an opportunity. Like, what are you going to do with that opportunity? And that's what I was telling you. Like, I've always... I've always taken from you. Like we were having this discussion yesterday, so it feels weird rehashing it. But but I think it's important that we tell them it's like, like culture gets passed down through people. That's right. So like m seeing like what you did for me, like you basically were like, here's this opportunity, and you don't even present it like that. You're like, yo, we both do things. But I was given an opportunity. You had a massive audience, but you you're not saying you're not telling me exactly what I have to do. I have to learn from you, but I also have to take advantage of that opportunity. 100%. There are people I'm sure you give opportunities they don't take advantage of. It. They fuck it up all the time. So then what are you going to do? You're going to drag them along? Well, I mean, mm. when you're a point guard, you just keep passing the ball. You just give me some shooters. <laughs> get some shooters. I yeah, I Find me some shooters. Yeah. My, my passing skills aren't going to be diminished ever. I just want right. people that when they get this motherfucker, they can hit shots. They could go. That's, so that, that's what I was saying. Is like everybody on the team, like they earn their shit. 
Like they earn, like Alex earned his fucking. He put yeah. time in prison. Man, he did. Yeah. <laughs> and I told him before he left. This shit, bro. I told him before he left. I said, "Bro, you're not white, Andrew." You white. did. Tell, uh, white used to always say that to Alex. Like, look, right now. you're in a good position, but you're not white. Don't think you get away with. Yeah, don't think you get away Andrew get away with. All right. But no, it's just great to see all of them take advantage of it. Like yeah, just trying right, to like man. bring people yeah. on that like, I don't know, have that same hunger. Because you, I think you and I are willing to do things and wax and obviously people in this room, we're willing to do things because we know what it could get us. So mm -hmm. like, I, I don't like working with people that are too like short term goal oriented. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I they big. worried about like mm -hmm. the first thing. Mm. They worried about getting all their money in the first weekend. I'm like, you don't nah. realize, like, if you're here, you will be rich. You'll be like, good. Everybody, Relax. nobody's not gonna be making money. Yeah. But, but when when I got to deal with that, I'm like, oh, why? Oh, you don't nah. care. But when recognize, you get that recognize believe, I'm, you that's good. I so said, when you get people to actually believe and everything, that's it. oh, that's when they go hard for you. That's see right. it? Yes. And that's when you can pick your players. It might be somebody that people might not think that's so cool, but this person can make it make sense, man. I, yeah. pick, I pick that dude all day. Yeah. Recognize opportunity when it's not a paycheck attached, man. Yeah. In a privileged yeah. position to yes. learn a thing or two. Yeah. For real. Yeah. No, like, for you real. can't lose. Like, I just, I, man, I just love to see it. And I love the whole Ric Flair nature boy swag. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping off the goddamn PJ with the fucking robe on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Walking yeah. out with the Dallas cheerleaders, you know? Hey, <laughs> hey bro. Yourself, hey, man. bro. <laughs> we in Dallas. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Right. But the, right. the, the, and then just watching people because when I posted it, I saw people saying, "Yo, that was the funniest comedy show I ever been to in my life." Really? Oh hell yeah! Y'all like was in Dallas, right? Yeah, Dallas and Houston. Dallas and Houston. It was people yeah. literally in my comments. Yeah, yeah, was the funniest show I ever been to in my life. That's what you want. Yeah, hundred percent. Once you do that, sky's the limit. So, now when motherfuckers start talking like that, you 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 out of here, bro. Oh. That I, I said that too. Uh, I was just talking to the guys on Flagger, and I was just like. Like when people say, oh, this is my sixth show I've been to or my fifth show of yours I've been to. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, even from the beginning, I always was like, my longevity will be in delivering the best show every night. Because I know people got an Uber, they got babysitters, yeah, they rearranged yeah. their schedule, they called their, their mom to take care of their kid. Like right. so much went into those people coming out that night. So I'm like, I got to make sure. That not only is this the best show you've ever experienced, but that if I come back here, you will feel crippling pain if you don't go. That's right. Yeah. Like you, right. you know, you are missing out on the Give event. Give the product right. so they come back and get it. And it's like I know motherfuckers who go out and road, and it's like they're just collecting a check, and it's like people ain't gonna come back. Yeah, never. Why? 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 Same joke, same. Everything. It's like yo, you never. gotta go, you gotta push. No, yeah. never. The only way to gain longevity, the only way to gain consistency, is to be consistently excellent. Mm. Like you gotta go out there every night and at least score twenty five. Yeah. yeah, you're only yeah. as good as your last game. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about that either, though. Oh, shit. You, only, man, only, you smash a girl great for two months and you have one night you nut early. That's your last time. Yeah. <laughs> only reason I say that is because, like, LeBron James has been playing 19 years. If LeBron James goes out and scores 10. Yeah, we're going to forgive him. Yeah, we're not going to say LeBron's only as good but what as if, his last but, game. but what if it's six games in a row? You know what they're going to start saying? You start on, falling. Oh, you know, he's a bum. But I don't, he's a bum. He never could shoot. And they're going to start But it don't take up. away with what you've done. So if you've smashed... So, so let's put it in the sex category. Plus. If you've been smashing a girl and then the last six times is whack and she start going around telling you that you whack, you probably wasn't that good the first 30 times. She might have been lying to you. Damn, y'all. That's fucked up. That was, that was personal. That was personal. <laughs> 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 All, all I'm saying is deliver the show, man. Like, deliver the show. Know, that's what we try to do. So deliver the show. Turn it up. Deliver the show, you know, and, and there's nothing like success when you uh, bring your people along for the ride. Yeah. And that's what, that that's that's like the biggest thing I want people to take away from any of this, right? If what you're doing doesn't benefit other people and put mm. other people in position, it's not big enough. You yeah. want to feel good. You yeah. want to feel good about it. It's not big enough. Yeah, and, it's like when we hear these people go like, uh, success is lonely. It's like, for you. For you. Keep the right. homies around. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Now don't yeah. get me wrong, you gotta put yourself in that position to be able to carry that weight. Yeah. Because sometimes early on you might try to take on too much weight too early mm. and you're not even strong enough yet. Yeah. You and, know what I mean? Yeah. And you gotta make sure that the weight you're carrying around is like people who want it just as much as you. That's right. Yes. If you're just right. carrying around people Same so you guys can party after the show, it's like that's what you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. But if everybody there is excited about their specific thing. Mm. And and they are that's obsessed right. with their specific thing. That's right. 
It's like you guys could create something really yeah, special, real man. Point guard, shooting guard. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? You got a center, like everybody playing right. there. They know part, their role, man. they know what they gotta Ooh. do, and they're like in love with that. Like that's right. wow. I love a motherfucker that is in love with their thing. Their yeah. thing. And and sometimes that's hard because like, you know, there's ego in this shit, you know, and this, you know, sometimes sometimes you might want to bring somebody on the team. I'm sure you experience this, and they they come on the team as a producer, mm -hmm. but you know, like deep down. They really want to be talent. a talent. Or and that's a fine, or but like that. uh -huh. I need to know that. Yes. So when shit starts fucking up, yes. I know what the problem right. is. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? You ain't yes. all in yes. it. Because yes. yes. maybe it's time for you to switch positions. Maybe you've outgrown this yeah. position. That's all. Or, but then you're, you also have situations where like somebody comes on and like they just want to be a, they want to be a videographer. They're obsessed with it. And it's like, now they get to do the thing they're obsessed with. That's right. Mm -hmm. They're going to go above and beyond. Yes. They're going to work 14 hours. All gonna, day. 16 hours. Because that's their passion anyway. Night, they here. Yeah. It's not like they're clocking out so they could do their passion. That's right. They mm -hmm. just clock in to do their passion. That's it. That's and it. So those are the best. Those Woo! are the best. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I love it. That's why. We got to get y'all out to a show, man. I'm coming. Yeah, I, I already know. Wait. I think I think I'm going to come to the Philly show. The Philly one? All right. Yeah, Philly's I was looking at the schedule cool. yesterday. Yeah. I think I'm going to come to the Philly show. Vegas, Vegas, we got to Vegas, we got to do some shit. I want to I want to come out to it with the Tigers. I want the White Tigers. Yeah. You want the White Tigers? And I might come. I might come then. I got to come out on the Tiger if I'm in Vegas, right? Yeah, with some cocaine. Maybe he's coming out with the Tigers. Okay. I could go. Right, no come out with the tigers. I want to come out with the tigers or two of those little Asians that do the backflips in the Cirque du Soleil. Little Asians? What do you mean? They're little Asian dudes. They do the Cirque. Like du Soleil. little people? Like you mean like mm -hmm. actual like? Well, they could be little too, but usually they're just shorter. Yeah. Oh, got you, got you, got yeah, you, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Cirque du Soleil is in Vegas. Yeah, bro. Oh, I mean, travel everywhere. Where'd you think it was? I had no idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I thought it traveled to your New city. New Brunswick? Yes. The fuck was Cirque du Soleil be? <laughs> yo, speaking of that, what the fuck happened to the Universal Soul Circle show? What's that? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Universal. <laughs> Universal hey, bro. Circus. What happened to the Universal Circus show? I don't know what you crackers talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's you're the, lost. It's the it's Black a Circus. Show, man. You never heard it's a of that? Show, the man. Universal Soul Circus. Universal Soul Circus. I don't hear circus. about that shit no more. There was a Black Circus? Yes. yes. Well, midgets here. and all that type of shit. Yes, man. Dope, Pitbulls man. doing backflips all types <laughs> of wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pitbulls is doing backflips now. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't oh, remember that up. shit? Okay, okay. <laughs> The okay. Universal Soul Circus. So there was a black circus going on. So it was Barnum and Bailey's was the white circus. I never heard of that. Yes, Barnum you and Bailey's. You never heard of Barnum and Bailey's? Yes. The greatest show on earth. I or the big apple cream. circus. From Definitely heard of Barnum and Bailey. 100%. Yeah, Barnum yeah, and Bailey. Of course, Bailey's. everybody heard of P.T. Barnum. Yeah. Y'all never heard of Barnum Barn? and Bailey Circus? Never in my life. Stop. Nah. Man. Barnum and Bailey. Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Barnum and Bailey, man. You know I ain't go to that. <laughs> but you've heard of it? But you went to the Universe Soul Circus? Oh, for sure. We went. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we As, went. A <laughs> As a couple times. I've hosted, I've hosted it a few times. I've definitely, <laughs> times. I've definitely hosted the Universe Wait, Soul really? Circus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Yo, make some noise. <laughs> Y'all ready for some clowns? <laughs> Y'all ready for some clowns? <laughs> Y'all, they, they got the motorcycles that go around the circle thing. It's really dope, man. Uh, yo, this guy is legendary. When he hosts a comedy show, bro, this guy is legendary. Be like, yeah, you just go up there and do like 10, 15 minutes. You know, and oh, that shit. Man. Yeah. He's actually, yeah, okay, I got it. He'll go Back in the day, <laughs> all the whole shit we used to do back in the day. Bro, I was. He used to go we hard back theater. in the day, though. Back in the day, he used to go hard. Or some shit. Remember when you did it? We were like in Foxwood or something like that. I don't remember what. Happened. I don't know. You just went up there like, uh, you just said, you just said literally the least amount of things you because I don't even know you, you said their full name. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I hate being on stage at comedy shows. Because motherfuckers think I'm about to do some fucking. Yeah, comedy. yeah. I'm Make not a laugh, goddamn comedian. Yeah, yeah. You said yeah. you like because you like. Uh, you know, you guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here. And, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then, and then, and then you be like, and you be like, actually, y'all can't be anywhere. Y'all can't be anywhere in the world. Why y'all broke? <laughs> All right, give it up for your first out. <laughs> Just make the whole crowd feel like dog shit. I used, to, I used to walk out and be like, look, man. I'm about to sit my ass down. I pull out a stool. I'm about to sit down so y'all can never say Charlemagne out here trying to stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Luther the Variety. Variety had me this year. Like about a month ago, they had me in like the, what was it, the top 
most impactful people in comedy? Really? Yeah. I could <laughs> not. I could see it. You're no. You're donkey in the days is fucking hilarious. Yeah, nah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I understood. Him. And, and nah. I, I told him that. I'm like, yo, I'm not a comedian. Tell but he's on it, though. He's on it. The donkey of the day is comedic. It's All funny, yeah. and it is super impactful because if you donkey the day and light someone up, that's the news story sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that is impactful. I understood what Variety was saying though because they had like executives in there too. Ah. You know what I'm saying? So they was talking about like the black effect and the slate of comedians ah. on the black effect ah. and they're brilliant ah. idiots and things like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they were just talking about the platforms. And people I put on the platform. You know what yeah. I mean? So I understood that. I'm like, okay, cool. Because I ain't, you know, I'm not out here telling no, no jokes. Like, I respect the craft of comedy too much. Like, that shit yeah, is not man. a game, you can't bro. Do that shit. Like, you no out there playing the one on. You do. Word up. You out I there playing. I'd be crickets. I'd be like, come uh, on, man. That shit is so fuck fucking out. stressful. QA. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you out there playing one on none, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Like you out there just you. That shit yeah, ain't man. even boxing. Well, I guess it is like boxing. Shadow boxing. It is like boxing. I think comics like to say it's like boxing. I never heard a boxer say it's like comedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we always like to romanticize the shit we do, make it seem more dangerous. Than nah, I'd rather, get, I'd rather get punched in the face. Yeah, I'd rather box a, before I go do that. Yeah, Word? roll it up. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. I'd rather get punched in the face than have 2,000 people just staring was, at you. Yeah, I would shadow box with you all day. If somebody just tell me a wax, stand right here and give me some jokes. I... I mean, Word up. I don't have it. Because that yeah. shit is frustrating. When you just standing out there with the mic and everybody start booing your Whoa. ass, what do you do in that situation? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you never got booed ever? No. Not like that. Oh, I've had people upset at me and that kind of shit. That shit happened at shows and I've had people throw things at me and that kind of stuff. But yeah. like, when you come out to one of my shows, you know what to expect. Back in the day, yeah. that's like, back in the day, that's like a situation where People didn't know what to expect, and I had some maybe some jokes that were a little wild, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and they weren't ready for that kind of material. But people come out it. now for that. Yeah, you, know, you yeah, come yeah, out yeah. to my shows, they you want know, the flagrancy. You're gonna, they want the flagrancy. You're gonna yeah, get a wild yeah. show, man. Yeah, we had Marlon Wayans on Breakfast Club last week, and he said like the stage is the one place that you you can't get canceled. Like the stage is the one place where you can, you know. Say what it is that you want to say. Yeah, you playing. know what I mean. Is it always got that. I was just playing. It's comedy because it's, yeah. it's in the context of comedy. But yes. I don't. I don't know. I agree, but then I don't know if you still can't cause outrage and backlash. You know I think I mean? you can, depending like who you are. Like I think a lot of that outrage and backlash is based on like who people think you are. You know, mm. or so they already like, want to cancel you. That's the thing. But like with like, remember Tracy Morgan? Like Tracy Morgan was this like lovable, adorable guy. Yeah. On four, what is that? Four, 30 Rock? 30 Rock, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. they go see his stand up and it's like some wild flagrant shit. So there's all these like <laughs> soccer moms going, yo, like, what is this? Like, where's the yeah, Tina yeah, Fey yeah, jokes? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 what's going yeah, yeah, on here? They're trying to cancel. Yeah, but Tracy yeah, Morgan, please. early in his career, that's going up in like deaf comedy and jam and shit. Nobody's surprised at what he's saying because yeah. they know what yeah. they're coming for. But know? most comedians have a dark sense of humor. Because hey, it's, it's rooted in trauma a lot of the time. Humor is dark. Like, there's yeah. no such thing as victimless humor. Somebody's going to be the victim. Somebody got to be the victim. Sometimes it's you, sometimes it's someone else. But That's like, right. Not to let it be you. That's on, it. Bro. Like, That's right. you know what stages is literally like, you know, when we have thoughts in our head that are fucked up, but we don't say it? Yeah. It's you are saying it every single thing you think. And that's what makes you chuckle. And it's a yeah. safe space for it. It like should we, be. We all enter in this yeah, room going, we're going to hear some wild shit, but you know what? Even if it's not true, because jokes aren't true. I hate when people mm-hmm. are like, oh, all jokes There's some are truth true. and jokes. That's There's not always jokes, true. But they're not some, true. Somewhere. But the feeling might be real. Yeah, Like, yeah, remember yeah. them like, old, get that like, feeling. old, like, Jewish comics? Remember, they would be like, uh, take my wife, please, or that kind of shit? Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't really want someone to take your wife, but your wife's annoying you, so you're like, yeah. maybe someone just take her. Like that, that is a joke. And you're right. laughing at the audacity of a man saying Say, that about his wife. My take wife. my wife, exactly. please. Exactly. Yeah, that, that you know was on I mean? the Goodfellas. So what was that? That part. It was like, in the movie? It was a movie. The guy I said, remember uh, when they were doing jokes. He's like, hey, man, take my wife, please. It was an old one liner. He was yeah. probably trying to be like Henny Youngman or some shit like that. But to, to your point, though, everybody has to be a victim in the joke. That's why I hate when people say, oh, I don't want to be the buddy of your jokes. What you want to be the dick? You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like can't some, be the arm or the, the arm. Like, why I got to be the butt? Like, why I got to be yeah. that part of your body? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're, just, it's, you're just the material that we're on right now. Be on your ass. That's, and if, that that's right. And if you can dish it, you should be able to take it. Like, you, you know, know funny. That's why and, 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 true, though, and if true. it is too sensitive to you, just say it. Yeah. Just tell me to back off. Yeah. You we're know, not going to back off. <laughs> you yeah, know now, what I mean? Now, now we're going to really push harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at least, at least I know 
all right, I understand why you're a little bit upset. But I think to, 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 <laughs> to that point, too, it's like sometimes we just we be discussing other people's traumas. Uh, That's the thing, right? So we yeah. don't know what triggers other people. Like yeah. Marlon Wayans got a special coming out this week on uh, HBO Max. It comes out on the, the 19th. It's called, um, I think it's called You Know What It Is. And he was telling us about a joke that got taken out. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And so we, we we kept it in the interview, but we bleeped it, blah, 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 this yes. and that. And when I heard the joke, I'm like, I I can see why they would want to say that. Can out. you say it or not? I'm not, I'm not going I'm not gonna say it because you know, I don't want to. It's a reason that HBO Max took it out, it's a reason Breakfast Club mm -hmm. bleeped it, and just people yeah. are so sensitive. But I can see why that would possibly upset someone because that could be somebody's trigger. Yeah. And you also, I mean? like you you've decided, like you signed a contract. To do a show for a network, like that's right. The network that's has right. a responsibility to a lot more people than just your audience. Absolutely. So yeah. they have to consider the people that might watch this that don't like that kind of stuff, and that's the risk that they take. Absolutely. But you also sign the deal, and yeah. you sign the deal knowing there's certain things that they're not supportive of. Yeah. Same thing with me. Like I understand that. Like it's easy to when you don't have a deal to go. I'm not changing my comedy at all. Yeah. But then you sign a seven figure deal. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, I have to be an adult. Yeah. You got to be an adult. Like you get to dress a certain way at work. When you go into the office in corporate America, they're yeah. like, we want you to wear pants. We want you yeah. to wear a shirt. Shiny That's shoes. It's trying to fucking shit. Like, and you go, you could say, I want to wear shorts. And they could be like, that's not why you signed the contract. Yeah. This is football. You have rules. Every job you have rules. Yes. hundred percent. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I, I'm one of these people like, I think that your humor should be whatever the fuck it wants to be. And you can still do that at your shows. You can still do it in all these different places. You can do it on YouTube. Put your shit however the fuck you want on YouTube. That's mm -hmm. what I do. Yeah. I put it on Instagram, YouTube, however the fuck I want. But if you are signing a deal with a network, you have to understand that they are going to feel liable for your shit. And they might get in trouble and they might not want it. And that's the decision you have to make. You want to make millions of dollars? Then you they might have to cut rules. a joke. Man, that's yo, by the way, that's I love they that. The rules. I was just talking to my home, I was talking to Aaron Magruder about that, you know, this weekend. And you know, he's an executive producer on the God's Honest Truth <laughs> on Comedy Central, September 17th, 10 p.m. Early. But it's like, yo, do you really want to lose millions of dollars for some words? So, and, and you're not <laughs> you know, no, no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like here's with the some thing. words, that's somebody it's not else even made you're up. losing it. You're not even losing it. You put those same words, that same joke, yeah. up on Instagram. Put it on YouTube. It yeah. can be out there. No one's stopping you. Yeah, yeah nobody's you stopping you. have the freedom yeah, 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 to do yeah, yeah, comedy just like you want. Absolutely. You sign a contract with yeah. these rules. Yeah. Like when you sign to be a fucking basketball player or a football player, they say you can't go skiing. You can't smoke. You or, can't or, smoke. Or, 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 you, you or don't go on uh, four by fours or whatever the fuck they are. So what do you love more? You love skiing? You love riding motorcycles? Or you love fucking making millions of dollars to do basketball or football? Go yes. hang out with Meek Mill if you want, bro. Do or make millions of dollars playing a fucking Absolutely. sport. This is it. But you Absolutely. can still put your shit out. That's the beautiful thing about the internet. Back in the day, I understand the pushback. You're like, I want to mm -hmm. put my comedy out the way it is. Now, by all means. Oh, but now you want to make millions of dollars. Yeah. Well, that always comes with a caveat. Always Nobody will. in history made millions of dollars without a caveat. But you know what you did that was smart? When you started putting stuff up on Instagram and on YouTube, they were still well-crafted, thought-out jokes. Of course. So yeah. even if you were touching on edgy material, it was still well thought out and crafted. What mm -hmm. I've been telling all these comics, y'all not getting in trouble on the stage. You're getting in trouble because you're doing getting in front of these mm -hmm. and just talking. Just or because you just on Twitter, just <laughs> tweeting away. Like, I don't want to lose nothing for just some shit that, that we you just, don't care about. Exactly. You don't know what son, fuck about. Son, it was, <laughs> bruh, I, I tweeted some shit about Afghanistan yesterday, right? And I'm like, why? And, uh, and then I started getting all this pushback. And then I started, I was, I was about to start arguing. And I was like, why are you about to die on this hill? No, no, no. I literally said to myself, I was like, oh, I don't care about Afghanistan. I never have cared about <laughs> Afghanistan. And I don't care about it in the future, most likely. Now, that's sad. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But I'm a fraud if I'm going to start arguing about some shit that I really do not Already care born. about. Yeah. So I'm like, this is not worth it. That's why I don't get caught up in the algorithm conversation. Yeah. Whatever everybody is talking about on social media I take a peek at it, and I'm like, there's nothing my voice can add to this conversation. Mm -hmm. And if I do have an opinion about it, I'm going to talk about it on Breakfast Club. I'm going to talk about platform. it here on the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, so where I have a nice, well mm -hmm. thought out, mm -hmm. you know, conversation about something. Even though they're going to still cut it up in bits and pieces and take yep. it and flip mm -hmm. it how they want to. They did that last week with the... With I the, saw you going viral for that. 
the uh, what was it? The verses you said six nine with Wash Eminem and the verses. Did you think I was serious when we were having? That yeah, hundred percent. Shut up, man. Me I did. Too. <laughs> Me too. I thought I'm you were serious. serious. I thought you were serious. But I understood <laughs> what you were saying though. Like it was a generational thing. Yeah, yeah. That's it. but uh, listen, you know they what? Accept this more. That's my right fault. now. I get I, it. We got to be impeccable with our word. You know what I'm saying? We got to say things that we only really mean. Now, I didn't. My my whole point with that conversation was. I think that some of these kids, a record like Gummel might slap harder than things in Eminem catalog. Because these guys my don't know. Is... These guys and girls don't know Eminem catalog. Mm. You know my name what I mean? is going to hit, though. Huh? You think so? My name is. But you're almost 40. My name is. My name is. Wax. You know what I mean? Slim Shade. <laughs> but I was just like, I'm like, somebody paid for that, though. Huh? Somebody paid for that. What, for that to go out? That was four months. We talked about that four months yeah, ago. I don't even remember. I saw it on all the blocks. I'm starting to wonder, bro. It's like... These are paid what? campaigns. Okay. Come on. They got yes, it, right? They, they like every blog talks about the it. Campaigns. And we're supposed to believe this is... Nah, paid campaign. And what was it to like smear you to like... No, no, no. I mean, it, it looks good for 6 9 Mm. You know what I'm saying? In the conversation to verses right now and everybody winning yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, That's what I think. I think, I think, I think, I think a lot of these stuff be, be paid campaigns. And I'm not mad at it. You know That's what I mean? That's fucking interesting. I, I, I'm i not mad at it. Run He's with it. He's starting to this get some buzz. He had the combo and act stuff. Other mm -hmm. people starting to talk. He's doing Keep videos with the Nelk boys. Keep, it going. Keep the flame going. Let me throw a couple bucks at these different blogs. Why not? It's nothing. It's only right. It's nothing. Do you think this stuff just organically? I don't get me wrong. A lot of this stuff does organically happen. But ain't no conversation from four months ago. Just yeah. organically popping Come up. Come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not that combo. Now, if it was a combo about some edgy shit we was talking about. What was goes viral with that doo doo. Um, I mean, it goes every week. I literally get somebody. Oh, you on oh, this? You on, every week. Y'all pay for that shit, literally. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I ain't even got enough money. To do <laughs> <that>. <laughs> I don't even know. Y'all are doing paid all that money from the chicken farm and the Star Wars. <laughs> shit you all that's going right to we pay moving, that, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of. But I thought. I thought that the conversation we were having was so absurd. Like even if you continue to listen to the combo, I start saying Britney Spears would beat Eminem in the verses. Britney would. Britney definitely. Nah, Britney nah, beat. we got nothing. Hey, hey. But that's my point. Britney beat, beat the brakes off of most of these girls, man. But, it's, but it's, it's, it's especially a now. Ain't nobody rooting against me. Britney. Come on. <laughs> like, Come but, on that, but that's my point. Sucks. Those are versus Britney matchups that will never happen. It's absurd. Why would Eminem be doing a versus with Britney? Why would Eminem be doing a versus with Who Future? Who should Eminem do thug? a versus with? I don't think there's nobody he could do it with. He's in his own lane. Nas. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, they're both lyricists. That's the thing. Like yeah, that probably be the best. I I think that you could put them Eminem in there. And Nas, hmm. Renegade, hmm. yeah, Renegade's a fire. Retarded. Renegade is fire. Eminem and Nas might not be bad. It might be good, right? Bad. Nah, that might not be bad because they're both two top tier lyricists. I don't. And know. they're not like okay. Nyla's a DJ. Come in, Nyla. Come in. Come in. Come in. Nyla, they're not come like in, big beats come people in. either. You right? know, hey, is that mic on right there? Yeah. Is that mic on right there? Walk around. Nyla, sit on the speaker. No, no, sit on oh, the can speaker, you sit on the speaker? Right there. Sit on that there speaker go. right there. No, there no, you no, you're good like that. And then. What do you think? You would, Nyla's a DJ. No. Turn to the mic. Is that is working? On? You look like you about to tell everybody Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Uh, <laughs> Noah's Ark. <laughs> Jesus is coming. Get right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What do you think? That's a fact, though, actually. Jesus is coming. Get right. Amen, Jesus ain't coming amen. back. Amen. Yes, he is. Yeah, well, no, he is not. Why not? Jesus is going to... No, Jesus well, is going to... coming to get no, me. No, Jesus is sitting back. I'll see y'all when y'all get there. I'm not coming back. He's going to come get me. No, he's not. I'll he see y'all. No, what do you think? Nas and Eminem? You don't think that's a good one? Nah, I don't want to see Nas and Eminem. I would want to see Nas and Jay. Nas and Jay? Yeah. we seen that already. I don't want to see Nas and Jay. No, we didn't. Me neither. we seen that already. When no, they, I don't want to see when, Nas when and they, when when they did their uh, their rants back and forth, when they did their disses back and forth, that was all. Nas and Jay, stop it. Yeah, yeah I don't want to see Nas. That's crazy, right? Now. We did that. Nas, nah, Nas, Nas got Nas three songs you with guys a good are beat. Excited stop when he does a song uh, with Khaled. Uh, 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 huh? But everybody's so excited when he does a song with Khaled. Who? When Nas and Jay Z did a song with Khaled, everybody was excited. Like, oh, we appreciate it, but verses because verses is. I don't think that's a good matchup. I don't. I don't think Jay and Nas. I think it sounds good. It looks good on paper because yeah, of their sure. history. Nah. But song wise, I don't nah. think Jay and Nas is a good Name matchup. Name the songs. I mean, kind of like Jeezy and Gucci. Sound wise, they don't really go. But yeah, because cool. of the history, it, you being it disrespectful. Makes sense. No, Gucci got Gucci got great. slappers. Gucci and Jeezy are actually in the but same great. vein, yes, in the are. same lane category. Yeah, that's all trap music. Let me clarify. We're just talking about hits. And okay. I think Nas doesn't have, like, we could all name the hits, right? 
What, you what, know, are the, what are the Nas hits? I mean, it depends, what you call, it depends what you call hits because Nas got a lot of like Uchi cultural Wally anthems. Wally. Yeah, but you, but then you can play stuff like yeah, Life's man. a Bitch and Then You Die. You know what I mean? Hate Me Now. You can hate like, me um, now. Uh, the, the, the message. I love like I love the message off It Was Written. Like Fake Thugs, No Love. Nostra you get the slug, CB4, Gusto. Like I'm saying like yeah, and Nas got like, cultural anthems. Nas, Nas and Jay are two of my top Seven favorite MCs of all time. Sure, yeah. sure. That, sure. but I just top feel like that's seven? why it's gotta yeah, be got to be bars. Like if you just make it about bars, then the audience is gonna be ready for that. That's why I think Nas and M will be pretty I dope. Nas M, I'm not gonna Close. lie. It's Nas and M ain't bad. I'm not bad. That's the verse, and you know who would do it? M. That ain't a bad M verse. Eminem though. really looks up to Nas. I think that's it's like Jay Z, Nas, and Biggie, and maybe Pac. I think those are the ones. I don't. Th I don't know what the. There's no backstory that could bring that together, other than saying like these are two of the greatest. Lyricist to ever live, yeah, but that's a good it. one. Mm -hmm. Who do you who who do you, who would you want to see Eminem go against? I don't know. That's my. Like, I don't know. I don't know who Eminem will go against. Eminem is really in the lane of his own, bro. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. What What about uh Twister? All right. Okay, guys. <laughs> and I love they Twister. Like come on, that's not, that's not a good matchup. He's like, these <laughs> matchups matter, bro. Yeah. Matchups matter. Matchups matter. Yeah. Matchups matter. Yeah. That's what I'm them. saying. Matchups matter. Yeah. Like you could get a great top tier artist. And put them against the wrong matchup, and they could get embarrassed. Okay, okay. Groups wise, Outcast verse. Um, oh. Tribe Called Quest. Yeah, Outcast versus Tribe Called Do you think Quest. there's God a little generational thing there though? Not for nah, not for us. Because I mean, that's our generation. Outcast and Tribe. If you're forty and up, Outcast and Tribe are both well, your that's generation. The thing. If you're under forty, you still had Outcast, but you didn't really have Tribe. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, you probably yeah, heard I'm tail outcast end of, of Outcast, but yes. you weren't hearing that much trouble. How, how, right? how, how, how young 30, though? I think 30 and I'm younger might have missed and Tribe. I, and I'm not Tribe. Yeah, Tribe, I and missed I'm 37. me. You just wasn't listening, but Tribe was definitely hey, around. Gospel. I was listening to Gospel. Outcast and Tribe would be phenomenal. Okay, what about this? This would, I don't know if this is fair, but what if it's Outcast, Wu Tang? I don't like that matchup. Yeah. Really? I just don't like that That's matchup. Right. I don't like, I think Outcast and Tribe are both. In the same vein, I don't like the yeah. Outcast Wu Tang matchup. Okay. Two okay. totally different, yeah. like okay. Wu Tang in the hood street. I mean, they, yeah. always, but they, they. I don't know. I mean, Outcast is makes street music socially conscious street music, but it's just yeah. two different. Okay, here's a wild one. Lanes. Outcast Migos. No, uh -huh. <laughs> that would be fun. It would you don't be, think fun. That'd be fun. It's very fun. Atlanta. But to my point, so it's Atlanta. Atlanta go crazy. The old heads be going crazy for Outkast, and the young kids be yeah, going crazy. It'd be, for it'd be a big listening party. But we talking about verses, like you it said, it's gonna be a little though. different. Yeah, fair enough. But to my yeah. point that we was making in the last podcast four months ago that got taken out of context, it's generational. So you got a whole generation who grew up on Migos, who yeah, probably yes. think Migo 20 songs slap way harder. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then you got a, yes. a generation that grew up on Outkast that's like, no, you bugging. This I, is that that's classic what, That's why when Little Kim yeah. said that she wanted to do Nicki, I was like, I think it might turn out bad for her because everybody is going to know shit. Nicki's stuff because it's the most current. Generational ones Yo, are very tricky. Actually, that's a good point. Generational because, ones are tricky. Because all of mm. Kim's fans know Nicki's shit. But Nikki's fans don't know might Kim's not shit. know no, Kim's shit. That's right. Yep. So you're at a disadvantage because they came up as hip hop fans, so they're not gonna stop listening to hip hop now that I'm Nikki saying, but what, would, the they, would they artist. make everybody wanna go to listen to a lot of Kim shit? Because right now Jada kissing them, everybody's saying is the best group ever because they just That is now, true now too. Everybody listens yeah, to that, that is shit. true. That it's, is true. Well, so, and but, sex yeah. never goes away. And that's what they both go. So <laughs> yeah. I don't think that That, that is true. Bad. But that's about their performance. So like Kim would have to like really kill and impress because that's what Jada just did. Yeah, I, I know, but Jada did one before and he wasn't MVP. He was. I pick, he, he I picked Jada to beat Fab and he definitely did that night. I'm not saying he didn't win. I don't really have a preference on who I thought won or not, but I'm just saying like the internet wasn't going crazy for him like they are for this because of the performance. It so was, in it, order for oh, Kim to get all that love, she would have to really come and, and shit on it. It was the performance, but you know what? That performance created a feeling. Now, let's talk about feelings because we were talking about it earlier with the stand-up, mm -hmm. right? With music, the reason it's hard with these generational things is because certain artists gave us a feeling. There's just certain things that a 20-year-old a kid is going, certain things he's not going to understand about Reasonable Doubt. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He didn't grow up on that. Yeah, There's certain things the kid's yeah, not going to understand about, you know, uh, mm -hmm. a Southern Playlistic Cadillac music or Goody yeah. Mob Soul Food. Like, yeah. there's certain like, experiences. What are they talking about? That's so, my point. There's lines. Go, 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 but I'm just go, go, saying, go. it's certain experiences. Yeah, we forget yeah. about that with the music. We think about 
the girl house we was going to, or the or the or the dance we might have went to, yeah. or riding around with our boys when we young yeah, smoking yeah. weed. And it wasn't no you know Twitter, I mean? it wasn't no Instagram, and that that's shit. That's what I'm saying. About. There's yeah. experiences attached to this yes. music. You know why Jada and the Locks rang it off for people? Because that night. They gave everybody a feeling. It was their childhood. It was a yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it wasn't your childhood, even yeah, if you yeah. was just a young kid, that's, you've never felt that. Like, oh, shit. That Jadakiss dude wrapped his ass off. Like, <laughs> that shit felt like KRS-One for me. Yeah, KRS-One yeah. rocking a crowd. Dougie Fresh rocking a crowd. Yeah, 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 so yeah. kids never felt that. So they went there and they went to scream his music because they had a feeling they never felt and before. And they wanted to yeah. attach themselves to that feeling. That feeling. feeling. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like... Um, like certain foods, like desserts, like you have pumpkin pie, like it's Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's what that's what music will that's do, right. man. Music right. is different. Yeah. So when you talk about generational stuff, like the Migos give a certain generation a feeling. I love. I like the Migos, but I don't feel the Migos like Nyla made because I'm not outside. Yeah. I'm not in the clubs yeah. when yeah. straightening come on. I like the song straightening, yeah. but it's different when you see the club while into it. You know yeah. what I mean? Outcast, I was outside. Yeah, you and, and, know what and I, mean? I understand what Outcast is actually saying. I don't understand what Migos is saying. They probably got a good song. And these stuff. young kids are listening to the Outcast songs and they're hearing like, "I'm colder than a polar bear's toenail." You're like, "Why are you even talking about that?" That's what they want right but now. But we were listening like, "That's the coldest that's thing ever." Fire. fire, a polar fire. bear's toenail. Yeah, <laughs> nah, for real. But yeah, that's all. It's about giving people people that feeling. So generational ones are are, are, are tricky. They're tricky, but yeah, it's well, such a great concept. The the verses and it's so simple. Oh, it's gonna get even better. To, why? It, why? Because it's live performances. Oh yeah, now yeah, that we have the, the audience. Crowd, really, yeah. and I saw Damon Wayans say he want to challenge Dave Chappelle to a verses. And mm. I was looking in the comments. All I see is people saying, "Dave Chappelle will watch Damon Wayans." Then I saw some people saying, "Who?" It's because y'all don't know. Yeah. When I saw yeah, that, I was yeah, like, yeah. "Oh, this is this would be dope." Yeah. yeah. Damon Wayans versus Dave Chappelle, but that's because is this I comedy jokes though. I, would I don't know what it would be. It can't be for it can't be for old jokes because a joke is like a magic trick. Like once you know where it's going, yeah, it's not going to be the same laugh. You need yeah. to have you know some sort of misdirect. Oh, yeah. But this but. generation ain't never heard none of them shit. Yeah, it's, it's probably people that never heard Dave Chappelle killing me softly. Isn't that crazy? You know I what I mean? I didn't even hear and, it. And they probably oh, haven't dude, heard. Go, they, killing me softly was so fucking brilliant, man. Oh, no, it's amazing. For what it's worth, those two specials, and this is those two specials happened before Chappelle show. Which one? No, no. One happened after? Killing Me Softly was before, definitely. And then one after. I don't remember There was one For after. What It's Worth and Killing Me Softly. I'm from forgetting, but they I don't were remember so... What it's worth. Is holding your stomach funny? Bruh. I think so. Oh, killing Me Softly, because, definitely. Because like Martin... classic jokes like, oh, well, man, when he called the police and- That's where the Ja Rule joke came from. The Ja Rule, but remember the joke about when he called the police because some people broke into his house and the police showed up and tried to arrest him? Yeah, I do remember that. I don't remember how Because he's went. black, they're like, yeah. he's still here. Yeah, he's still here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that shit yeah. is fucking That's genius. my life. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. It's like, I'm yeah. scared to go out the house right now. Bro, like, you leave, you forget your keys, you just gotta move. And what's so crazy about it? <laughs> you can't break in your window. Think about how that joke stood the test of time, because just last week, or maybe it was a week ago, they the realtor, was a black realtor, was showing a house. Yeah, I heard about that. And the that. police pulled up and thought he was the suspect. Yeah. Because yeah. somebody they called the police like, yo, there's a black guy over here going to the house. He was the show. realtor. Yeah. yeah. But Damon Wayans is, a, yo, Damon Wayans is beyond a legend because there's nothing he doesn't make you laugh at. He makes you laugh on stage. Yes. He makes shows. you laugh in person. Yes. And, and live in color. Oh, I mean, live in color. Forget Come it. Come on, oh, man. man. I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a black man or even white person who has as much classic characters from a sketch comedy show as Damon Wayans. You yeah. know it's going to be funny. I mean, uh, Damon Wayans was handyman, yep. homie the clown, yep. oh one of the God. men on film. He was uh, Farrak, Minister, Minister Farrak, I think he was, no, he was Mike, no, he wasn't Mike Tyson, he not really Mike Tyson, I think he was Minister Farrakhan. Yeah. He played the prison guy who used to say the crazy words in I, I jail. Know had, I know you had the, the, You know what I mean? Like, Damon Wayans has legendary sketch comedy characters from Justin Living Color. Like, you ain't, like, Damon Wayne is different, bro. Yeah. Don't look at that and think, oh, Dave Chappelle just gonna win just because you know Dave Chappelle. Go do your history on Damon Wayans. That's a great matchup. It just up, depends man. what they compete on. If they're competing in characters, then I think Damon Wayans uh, has, like, a great shot. But if they're competing in stand-up, like, Dave is... is you think Dave got it? He's a, he's, he's a better stand-up. And that's no knock on Damon. Like, yeah. we're talking about Dave Chappelle. But what would they do? They have go joke for joke? That's the thing that's weird. It, 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 like, I don't think comedy should be competitive because I think comedy in its best kind of alienates an audience a little bit and then brings them back. Like mm -hmm. all the great comics, 
make you go, wait, what? And then you make a laugh like, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, but if it's yeah. a competition and you're making the audience it's all think, mama jokes. Yeah. It's got to be all mama jokes. Oh, they got to go back and forth yeah. and roast. That'd be interesting. Eh, I don't want to see roast. That's all I can see. I don't want to see roast. Only reason I don't want to see roast because every comic's not a great roast comic. That's true. Yes. You know what I mean? That's like there's some yeah, comics yeah. Like, like somebody like Capone, Luther Capone, He's a comedian, you know, uh, based out of New York City. Like, that, you're not going to beat Capone in no role. Yeah, you want to yeah. light your ass yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who got hit up the, not too long ago? Who? What's the a big guy or it was killing them? Oh, um, 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 oh, Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle will eat it. your ass up. <laughs> Lavelle will eat your ass up, bro. I bet he will. No, for real. <laughs> Lavelle will tear your ass up he on that. For that. Man, Lavelle, Lavelle will tear coming. your ass up. Lavelle, he, he but, heard every joke in the world. He's coming. That's what I'm yeah, saying. You can't beat him. You can't go with fat jokes for dudes who've been fat their whole life. They heard it all. Heard it everything. means nothing. They got all the comebacks. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. oh, stop. Stop. Listen, um, what else we got, Taylor? What did Kevin do? Oh, the Don Cheadle thing. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. When Don Cheadle goes, uh, you know, John Cheadle's like, I'm 56 years old. Kevin oh. just goes, damn. I but love that. that. <laughs> I, that's honesty, man. That's that, that's like uh, me. I, I can't help it. Damn. As a, as a, as, damn. As a, as a, as a cancer. Kevin's, Kevin's a I'm cancer. Sorry. I'm, I'm a sorry. cancer. I'm sorry. Bro, that has been the story of my life. <laughs> Damn, because <laughs> I don't mean it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean, but you just be talking and then you yeah. talk out loud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like little shit like that. Somebody walk in the room, be like, "Oh, congratulations." You know what I mean? Are you pregnant? Don't you, you pregnant? hate though? Yeah, but you pregnant and then it's not. That's that's the worst. Ah, but that's yeah. why you shut the fuck up. Yeah, you did it. One why time did I even so have to say bad. that? One time Ooh. you did it real bad. I forgot where we was at. He was like. Congratulations to the lady. And she was like, I'm not pregnant. I'm like, whoa. And then what do you do? Sorry, you did, Act like you playing. Act like you're a comedian. No, I'd be like, my bad. I'm <laughs> I did sorry. that shit at a comedy show once. Bro. No, man. Ouch. I asked this girl. Ouch. I asked this girl she was pregnant. And she said, uh, and then she was, she was, I was like, <laughs> fucked up. See what I'm saying? <laughs> but you Sorry. felt bad immediately when you said it. I, when I it asked, you didn't want to. when I asked, I was like, I started asking, and in the middle of me asking, I'm thinking to myself, why are you doing this to you? Then, <laughs> why are you doing this to you? Right? Because I wasn't 100. Yes. And, uh, and, and then she was like, and I was like, I was like, I was like, are you pregnant? And then she was, she was like, no. Um. I just, I just had a big meal or something like Whoa. that. Whoa. And then- and That's then, even funnier. Bro, I had nothing, bro. <laughs> I had nothing for it, dude. You'd be like, yo, I hope you digest good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, only thing yeah. you can do is apologize. When yeah, you say some bro. stupid shit like that, yeah. when when because you, you, sometimes people wear it on their face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even if Kev didn't say damn, he'd have been looking like that. Like, yeah, like, damn. You know what I mean? Damn. And then Don would have been like, what's up? What's up, man? You know? I appreciate people like oh, that, though. Yeah. Tell me the truth, man. No, I don't, don't want to know the, the truth all the time. But what I, I hate is when people it's judge perfect, I'm telling you. for the shit that we're all thinking. Like what? Like if, if, if he goes, damn, you were thinking damn. Nah, I, you just I, I, didn't I like say 57. it. No, I like 57. That's a good age. Meaning, I, like I a lot of times, there. like a lot of times, you'll say something that everybody's feeling. They're just not saying. I hear what you're saying. And then they look at you like you're this asshole. Like they weren't That's taking these funny. That's why it's so funny. My, That's why I went so far. My mom would always say, "Me and my dad don't know how to talk to people," and she was right. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. not about what you say; it's how you say it. But yeah. you know, I always say, "I said, how do you think before you talk?" Easily, because people say, "Think before you talk." Wax, think before you talk. You just always learn. Come on, get on the mic, tail. Nyla, if you're going to you talk, move. What's wrong with you? It's uncomfortable. You say what? Why Why do you say you don't want to know the truth all the time? Oh, Nyla asked why Why do I say I don't want to know the truth all the time? Because sometimes ignorance is bliss. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like sometimes- You're being stared the wrong way. That's right. And I, and, I, and I want the truth to be told to me when I'm ready to receive it. Because sometimes you can tell somebody the truth and if they're not ready to receive it or they think you're trying to play them, they're yeah. going to reject it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you you know what I mean? So sometimes, you know, you just wait a minute. Like, you got to just pump your brakes a little bit. No need to say nothing now. Yeah. Wait, you know wait till I mean? they get a divorce, then tell them that you was having sex with his wife. What you saying? Whoa. That's, that's crazy. Whoa, I'm, crazy. I'm just Whoa. saying. That's what you're saying. No, Whoa. no. I'm just saying. On the, you know, I'm, I went through analogies. Wow. Whoa. That's all I'm saying. Wow. Whoa. Bro. And I'm not saying, I'm, I, I take that back. I do want to know the truth. I just want to know the truth uh, at a time that I'm, that I'm ready to receive the truth. Because that's the right. most important thing, right? Yeah. It's just like, it's like, like we talk about jokes or... Uh, Lyrics or anything. When you deliver that punchline, like, it's about timing, bro. You got to deliver yeah. that punchline at the right time. Yeah. You yeah, deliver that punchline at the wrong time, it ain't going to land. Yeah. I man. want what I'm saying to be received. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a way to like get into those but conversations. Some, sometimes you say shit and it doesn't seem like you want it received. 
Like what? You, I don't know. You're wild. Like no, I'm a wild boy. No. I was a wild boy. I'm no, no, not no. a wild boy no more. You still wild boy, but I could just see your fucking <laughs> yeah. eyes crinkle. Like something will happen. I'll just see you go. <laughs> like, yeah, do a face like that. Because I'm thinking before I talk. Exactly. Now you're not you saying do it. I mean, and then I get mad at myself. Yeah. When I think too much, it's like 10 questions come at once. Yeah. And I really just want to know this one thing. That's and if it. I would have just said it, blurted it out right good. there, we would have got to it exactly. immediately. Yeah. You know Man, what I mean? That's what I mean. So don't think before you talk. No, you got to think before. Sometimes you, you got to. Yeah, I wish I'd have yeah. thought. Especially if you're super wild. Like some people aren't that wild. They don't have to do that. But Me? if you're a wild you're boy. A wild boy. I can be wild, a wild boys boy. have to think before wild they talk. Wild boys no, have to right. think before they talk. I, I, need like, I need like a human editor to walk around with me sometimes. Yes. Because wild boys, yes. we <laughs> just pull out and... Yeah, just yeah. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot yeah. the block up. I wasn't bad I, at all. Yeah. I did not mean to shoot the yeah. block, yo. I was. You didn't have the safety on. That and by the way, you realize nine times out of ten, you really didn't have to say shit. You didn't. That's what I mean when I say, did I your voice. Or, or what you're saying bring something to the conversation did you elevate the conversation or something? yeah you know what I mean mm. no you didn't but it, it just you got it out your system sometimes it's just in your system you need to get it out yeah. Yeah. it do hurt when you keep it in though it, it does somebody. but it's fine but you but but I, what I've known what I've come to realize if you just take a beat you'll find a way to have the conversation you want to have man I have one of these guys at this show uh when I was in Houston bro he's in the front he was an electric wheelchair he was like he had a head mm -hmm. he had a torso and he didn't really have that big arm and didn't really have that big leg mm -hmm. and and Jeez. i got about 30 minutes without saying anything you couldn't have you couldn't avoid Come it. You're on, like this man. is a gift from god the comedy <laughs> god <laughs> placed <laughs> this right front, here bro. they okay. did that on purpose i always i always uh, believed that i had to bro what did you do Show i said i want to dip him in some chick-fil-a sauce <laughs> Like a nugget. little chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Did he laugh though? Did he laugh? People come to my shows to get roasted. Yeah, like yeah, okay. they yeah, go up yeah, front. Yeah. Like I, like the reason I did it to be honest is because I was like that guy got courage. Yeah. Like most people, especially given their circumstances, would never. They yeah. sit me in the back. He'd go for me, but in front of thousands of people, he was like, "I want it." Let's give. I give don't it think to there's me. nothing wrong with that. If, so, Ch if Chelsea Handler can call. I, Chewy, God bless the dead, a nugget all those years. There it is. There's nothing wrong with you calling that man a I chicken I didn't tender. make one joke. I didn't make one joke. There's None. one joke. I, no, no. There's one joke I didn't make. What was the joke you wanted so to make? So I asked him his name. He said his name was Abel. And I didn't, Whoa. I didn't do it. I didn't Whoa. do it. I didn't do it. Whoa. I didn't do it. Whoa. I didn't do it. Whoa. I didn't do it. Some but joke. in my head, I'm up there. I was like, is that short for disabled? Like, no. <laughs> yo, 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 I didn't, I didn't do it. What about Cain and Abel? Say what? What about Cain and Abel? What about him? I don't know. That is crazy. It's better than what you think about. <laughs> Yo, like, I didn't do it, but I know, I know, Ouch, I know. Thank God. I know. But I think I know. God put everything in each time for a reason. Like, Absolutely. I just said that for a reason. Yeah. I just not said that just now. It was a time I was supposed to have said that. It's a time he's supposed to be there. So man, he's supposed right. to got him. Man, yeah. that is such a good point. But That's... I did get him a little bit, but yeah. then nah, I... Nah, you're not supposed to tear him up. Nah, yeah. you're supposed to tear him up. Yeah. But, I mean, but that is such a good point that Wax said. That's why even when we talk about, like, the cancel culture and people pulling up old things and trying to weaponize against whatever you're doing yeah, now. Yeah. Yo, you got to take the good with the bad. Like yes. all of it was part of this process that you went through. Every single yep. thing mm -hmm. was all part of a process. So mm -hmm. you couldn't be that. You couldn't be th this now without saying that then. Yeah. It just is what it is. Yeah. Like, but it, you had to plant that seed and now it sprouted and now you got some bullshit on this tree. But, yeah. <laughs> but that's why, that's why I think that, you know, the, the, the whole cancel culture thing is, is, Losing his steam because people realize how this is not sustainable. Yeah. Because back in the day, everybody said something yes. wild for the yeah. night, bro. Everybody was a wild boy and wild yes. girl back in the goddamn that day. Was whether, culture, whether, though. whether it was on the mic, on the stage, in life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I say I don't want to be a hypocrite. Whether or not you heard me say it, if I hear something, I'm like, I'm not going to judge that person when I know that I was talking just exactly. like that. Yeah. You know I what I mean? Like, yes. like, come on. I got the shit I'm going to judge you for. And I got the shit that I could uh, forgive yeah. you for because I know yeah. I'm guilty. I would never shit. do that. Yeah, if I know I would never do that, then I'm a judge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like what though? What's the thing we would? Do? I, I mean, ain't gonna touch no kids. Yeah, so you touch I'm your okay. kids. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 100%. I'm not gonna hit an old lady. Like, but think about all the adults that was touching on us when we was young mm -hmm. that we haven't said anything about. I never said it. You know Wait, what? I mean, nobody was touching on me. Oh, I definitely oh, got molested man, when yeah. I was. You wasn't popular back then. You know, I was. Yeah. I really came into myself when I was like young teen, like. When I was young, young, I, they weren't feeling me. But like when I was like twelve, 
that's when I mean I yeah. think I think you should sit down and have a conversation about the people who touched on you. Could you talk about that a lot? I do I talked to my therapist about it. I, and, and, and it's so crazy. I talked to my therapist about it. And my therapist and uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes one time told me the same thing. It's like, you know, when you get older and you start dealing with like imposter syndrome or you don't uh, necessarily feel feel worthy. They say most people who were molested feel like that. And, and that was especially true in my situation, because when I made the woman stop, she started calling me ugly and saying <laughs> I had a big. See, why is that? Funny? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you know what amazing. I'm saying? That's <laughs> why is that fucking funny? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> takes male trauma <laughs> serious. That's the goddamn problem. You know what's crazy? I was waiting to hear that part too. You <laughs> <laughs> heard that story three hundred times. No, because 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 back in the day, the way I processed it, I would say, "Yo, the reason I made the woman stop is because I didn't like the smell of her Jerry curl." No, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody takes male pattern bald to serious and that. nobody takes male trauma serious. Hold on, hold on. Don't true. you compare bald to molestation, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 so, 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 hold on. When she said, when she started calling you ugly, do you think she was lying then or she was lying before? That's a good fucking question. But you know what that did? From And I learned mm. this in therapy. You know what that caused me to do? Be a people pleaser, even to my own detriment. Oh. So even when... I knew something was wrong, right? I would still go along with it as to not let the other people so down. So people don't call you ugly? What do you mean? Like, you stopped it because you didn't want somebody to call you ugly? You Now you're trying to- Well, it just felt you. bad. It felt like, yo, she, okay, I stopped letting her do this. Now she calling me ugly saying I got a big nose, so should I just continue to let her do it? Like, bro, she literally had my grandma putting fucking cream on my nose. <laughs> they, she, she, they thought my nose was swelling up. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 I, I think it's just because men they don't know. really talk about it. No. I, I, it's not that we do. It's not that we don't care. It's not that we don't It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Because she, she was hitting me on the street earlier today. When I say oh, everybody's God. eyes went straight and then we look over there at me, it was like, what the fuck? Wait, wait, what, wait, what are you saying? Like, she was hitting me earlier today in, in the street. Oh, and nobody was even worried about it? They didn't pay no fucking attention. Wow. I mean, look at the size difference. But that don't mean nothing, <laughs> like, though. That's you true. See? You were abusing him, bro. You were physically abusing him. He's used to that. But, wow. yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, no, 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 but you're right, though. So I, I'm used to women always hitting me and stuff. Like It's always been a thing. I'm sure we all got it. And it's like, yeah, it's double standards out here. Yes, they are. It's huge, but they don't want to take theirs. We got to take ours. We got to take ours, bro. And if we're a bitch if we don't take ours. Oh, 100%. You're if they, a real If they bitch. don't take that, I ain't got to take that. I'm like, yo, we both got double standards. I'm supposed to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I won't do but it no more. Taylor, Taylor's not having it, Wax. <laughs> Dude, I'm not trying to be the victim. You did play the victim this morning in the conversation we was having. Gave me a headache. No, I, I'm I'm it. not. I don't play the victim. It's just that nobody really cares about the strong friend. You understand uh, what I'm saying? Nobody really cares about when people. No real shit though. I don't call we, you. Check up on you. I, yeah, it, it's like yeah, nah, look. But you know what I'm saying nobody really. It's just like you're supposed to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, wax yeah. supposed to do that. It's always wax supposed to do that. Yeah. Like nobody actually really check. Yo, on therapy's you. been Yo, working you for doing? you, bro. Yeah, they make me talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like in touch with talking. your feelings. You start calling yourself the strong friend. <laughs> <laughs> because I do so much and it's like I got so much on my back and everybody like, oh, hold on. Before you leave, throw that on there too. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I got all this shit on my fucking back already. Y'all supposed to be helping me with this shit anyway. But I want to get the job done. So I'm putting, no, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm putting all the weight on my back. The motherfucker's like, hold on. Take this too. Add some more weight on that motherfucker. Yo, I love therapized wax. This is beautiful. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know talking. if I, I don't agree with the conversation though. He's but even say, if, just he, it's just he's in touch he's with evolved. feelings. No, he's I'm not, saying the things that bother him. Before, if he'd be like, I don't know nothing. No, I, I don't. I still don't know nothing. I don't know why they treat me like that. But it's just like wax can do it. Wax got it. You don't have wax, don't need help. So anybody else, it could be anything going on. It's right. like, okay, we're about to buy pizza. And it's like, everybody gonna put $10 to whatever then. They know Wax got it. Psh. Wax said, anybody wants a pizza? <laughs> Ain't nobody putting in no <laughs> <laughs> It's like, he got it. That's a good analogy. He, he, he got it. It's just like, I got it. And it's like kind of fucked up. 
Yeah, I guess that is true. Like, there's yeah. less empathy for Are y'all done making fun of victims? Son, no, I'm Wax is really victim. going through it right here. Oh, I thought he thought, okay, he I thought he, nobody supports the strong friend. I thought he was talk, talk, talking about he, his trauma. No, he called himself, this is his trauma. He well, called himself the strong friend, and nobody cares about the strong friend. Nobody they cares don't. about what he's got going on. Nobody, nobody cares about the strong friend. Like, he's like, whatever people got going bills? on. What, no, oh. Wax has been talking about his struggles. It's not really struggles. It's just like nobody care about the strong friend. All the stuff that I got going on is like people are still, I got to have all this weight on my back and people be like, hold on, hold this too. Throw this up there too. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, hey, let me take some of that off your back. Oh, come here. Let me hold that down. Well, that's why it's important for men to be vulnerable because if you act like nothing bothers you, you know what I mean? And you Wait, act what? like you can handle it, then nobody going, people going to think but expect you, you to handle, handle it. you can handle it, but it's still like, it it's don't like sound Andrew like you can saying, handle it. It's not like you need a little like help. Andrew. Andrew can handle it, but the people that's around him who actually do it and be a team, it'd be so much better. I'm going to tell you something. I can't handle none of this shit by myself. What do you mean? Any of it. You know what I mean? Like what? Any of it. I think that's the big, the biggest, the biggest lie we tell ourselves is that we don't need a support system. You know what I mean? Like you uh, need a team that supports you and holds you down the whole way through. That's one of the reasons I am the way that I am now is because I want to be the adult that I needed, you know, when I was on the come up. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like simple as that. Like I want I, I want to be able to provide, you know, support for people that like like Nyla mm -hmm. that are trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, I think sometimes when you act like you got it all together, people just expect you to have it all together. So why 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 help the person that seems nah, like they don't but, need but help? The thing is, is like again, he people would probably think that Andrew go ahead and do it. They're gonna be attached to that and they wanna be able to make things happen. They're not gonna make them do it all right, by itself. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People right. see that something is actually gonna benefit them. You know what I'm saying? Yo, go pitch in, do something. There's nothing that I, I don't think I'm about to benefit off. I'm just gonna sit back and watch somebody do it. I don't give a mm. fuck what it is. You see how you said the guy is gonna be great one day because mm. he came in here, gave us water, he gave us, gave us food. Mark, yeah, salute the Do you mark. understand what I'm trying and to say? That, that this type of thing, that's what I need around me. Mm. I would, Mark, come on, Mark. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, but those are, yeah, no, you're right. And I mean, those are just the little things, you know, you notice. Like, number one, Mark got super talent, right? But sometimes 100%. hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. And All day. my grandma yes. always told me, man, will take you where money wants. So when I see somebody willing to do the little things like that, yeah, like, I ain't asked Mark to bring me no water. That right? counts. But just watch it like, damn, thank you, Mark. Can't have an ego. It's those man. little tiny things little like that that you things, see and you be bro. like, that motherfucker. And we able to talk it. about yep. it again. Like that impact us more than somebody did something. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he yeah. got the donk with the long head and the pretty face. And he funny. Yeah. It's pretty a lot. He's about. pretty out here. I, I, I don't even lot. know how this man looked, but I just know remember his name is Mark. You know exactly how Mark looks. I do, but I don't. But you didn't look at his ass. You didn't look at that thing. I'm not understand. <laughs> Mark. Mark, come here. <laughs> See if Wax can avoid this. <laughs> Just keep the camera on Wax's eyes. Uh, Mark, yeah, come yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. When Mark you. walks in, what do you I, mean? I, 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 I remember somebody brought the water and everything, but you said it's Mark is Mark. But when he left, did you notice anything when he walked away? No, I was like, that guy is, I really appreciate that guy because I was really thirsty. Big Mark, can you just, Mark, walk, can you just walk uh, in front of the cameras and walk the right back pants, real quick? Bro, those are not the right pants. Uh, yeah. He ain't showing the shape today. Damn. <laughs> 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 Mark ain't showing the shape today. Go wax peeking. He peeking. Ah, he peek. Ah, he peek. He peek. Y'all get his face. Y'all got a camera. Y'all got the. He peeked. <laughs> Look, yo. Like, listen, I don't know if y'all had the Who's Wax gummies. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Who's on drugs, man? Yo, but did you look, bro? Wax, you got to chill out. It. It's well, the listen, infamous, man. bro. Listen, we, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Welcome Mark, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome Mark, baby. Looking fresh out of shampoo commercial. Okay. How does it taste before? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bottom of his skin with that food. What are you doing on it? He's still got it. He's got fucking teeth. He got teeth on the bottom of his fucking boot. Who did you kick in this morning, bro? Clean your fucking the boot up before you do this. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> we appreciate you though, man. We were saying we appreciate you, man. Just the hard work. Keep it that's up. A, that's man. that's that's the that's the that's the manly way of saying you got a fat ass, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know the new bro. term, right? Yeah. After you say that shit, you gotta be like, no Cuomo. <laughs> yeah. no yo, yo, y'all work together, bro. You got to hit him with a no Cuomo and it doesn't count, dude. Yo, that's, yo, that's, that's, man, that's the rule. That is nowadays, funny bro. as hell. <laughs> oh, let's pay some bills, y'all. Let's yo. do it. Who we got? Come on. Oh, well, that's a good segue into Blue Chew. Let's go. All right. It's summer. 
camping season. All right. You want to talk about pitching tents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. All right, guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, okay? Especially when it, com it comes time to step up to the plate. You know what I'm saying? That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. I always wonder about the discreet package part, right? If you live with your significant other, mm. your woman, do you think she would judge you? But trying to, you know, bring Some, something in your house that enhances the performance in the bedroom? Until you do it, and then she has the time of her fucking life. Yeah. And then it's no different than, like, let's go have a drink when we go out. Yeah, it's like, yo, pop that Bluetooth. Make pop sure that Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, Yo, do you yeah, want to have yeah. some drinks when we go out tonight? Yeah. Initially, it would probably be like, why, you think I'm boring? You think it's boring to go have dinner with me without us being drunk? Yeah. And then after you both do it, you're like, oh, no, it's kind of fun oh, to yeah. get loose a little bit. Yeah. Same yeah. shit, bro. Just I, pop it. I would feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's better, right? Because... You don't want to really pop the blue chew if your woman ain't in the mood. Yeah, she'll have period. Yeah, you're yeah. just going to be beating off all night. That's dude. what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So you want to do it when it's like, yo, she in that mood. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Now, you want to do some cushy dream shows? Damn right. Shouts to Cushy, man. Cushy Dreams, best CBD on the planet. It's the flower. They fuck with the flower. That's what they do. It's flower. They're not playing games. And they got the pre-rolls. They got the just regular flower in the can. But it's the highest quality CBD on the planet. It's the one that we fuck with. The one that y'all should fuck with. I'm telling you, this is the one that you need. You're going to be smoking CBD. You might as well smoke it like it's weed. If you're like me, weed just knocks you out. CBD, you could sustain. You could hang out with the homies. You smoke it after a show, chill you out. You got a little anxiety. Just do it. This is the best tasting, best smoking one that I've ever tried. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. And check out, use the promo code IDIOTS. You get 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with the promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off your next order. I'm telling you, it's going to be the best CBD you've ever tried. Okay? Down, Pat, 100%. All right. Uh, let's do some church announcements. Wax, what you got? Uh, the CBD hemp uh, gummies that I have, you know what I'm saying? They really, really going great out here. Hold on. I think I got one on me. Oh, that's the Who's Wax out in 36 dispensaries in LA. And, uh, oh, damn. I'll let your boy, man. Go to whoswax.net and um, go ahead and grab your gummies. They're really, really good, man. Shows how you feel, man. Shit, I feel, I feel okay, but my boy Vala took one of them and got zonked. Okay. Yeah, oh, he, took one today? One? Son, he took one of them for the flight. He got zonked. He was like, <laughs> how the fuck is this shit CBD, bro? He was it's really, out of it. It's, it, it's really dope because CBD is um is right under 3%. So anything, this right here, my gummies is 2.99. So it's, it's right, right under. Uh, so it's like, it's just not it, but it's legal. It's not, it's not, um, it's hemp. It's not THC. Interesting. Yes. So anything over 3.0 is... And so so at 2.99, you'll still get high. You got, you see what happened? Yeah. Bro, he was shocked because he was like, dude, I just thought it was a CBD gun. <laughs> I thought this was going to ease my anxiety, not take me the fuck out. No. Oh, he, 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 the sativa made him go through the roof? He was just, he, he was like, bro, I am zooted right now. Just like. Yeah, everybody said it. That's why, that's why I always tell people, slow down on anything that got who's wax on it. Slow down because everything is really, really good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So go get them uh, the gummies. Go get the flower. Uh, the paintball thing, of course, still going on. Uh, it's coming soon. So y'all get your teams ready. And uh, we got the Bully and the Beast. Y'all uh, holler at us on Wednesdays and on Mondays for Patreon. Make sure y'all get that. We got some stuff on uh, from the paintball spot that we're going to put up there. So. I go get that. What you got, Schultz? The uh, infamous, the infamous tour. tour. Infamous tour, man. Go check it out. If y'all haven't seen it, then go to the Instagram. You can see what we're cooking up. Uh, probably should have another clip up from, from Houston. But uh, yeah, Infamous, go check it out, man. The tickets that are still left are some of the dates. Go get them right now. I can't tell you 
uh, you know, a lot of people have been hit me up for these LA shows and been sold out for a while. We're doing four shows at the Orpheum in LA. Um, we did make a change. There are people who might not be able to, we get a lot of DMs asking for tickets. So we allowed people that cannot make the show for whatever reason, you can do resale on Ticketmaster. There's a lot of people trying to get tickets. So if you want to uh, resell your tickets, the, you can't go for whatever reason, you can do that on Ticketmaster. Uh, do that because so many people want to come to the show and don't beat people up on the prices, man. If you can't go, I totally understand that, but just give these people an opportunity to go with the ticket prices around what they were. Uh, cover your costs, in other words. Um, but besides that, go check it out. Milwaukee, Detroit, San Diego. We're filming a special in Austin. And then we keep going, man. It's going to be crazy. Vegas. Yeah, when is Vegas? Uh, October like 3rd or something like that. I need that. you to tell my girl I need to hold the Lions. I got you. Yeah, I got you. That'd be crazy. <laughs> the you know Andrew Shows. Right? Com. Huh? The Andrew you know Shows. Watching. Com. Watching. Go check it out. And uh, yeah, blackeffect.com. You can go to the blackeffect.com and check out all the podcasts. Uh, that the Black Effect Network has available. Uh, make sure you pick up Anita Kopak Shallow Waters book. Uh, it's doing great. It's available everywhere you buy books now. Make sure you grab Tamika Mallory's State of Emergency as well. That's all on Black Privilege Publishing, uh, my book imprint. And make sure you check out the Comedy Central show September 17th at 10 p.m. We, shit, we less than a month away now, baby. We less than a month away. Nyla, you, um, uh, excited. Am I excited? Excited? I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet. I just feel, you know what I feel? I feel like this is just what it is. I know that may sound yeah. crazy to say, but you know, when you came out on that stage this weekend, it felt amazingly normal to you, didn't it? Yeah. There, you was, there was mixed emotions. I was, I did have butterflies. Okay. That's natural. Uh, Anything that means something to you, you should have some type of anxiety. Yeah. Peace. yeah. Oh, that's anxiety is butterflies? I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> this guy's been talking about anxiety. Wrote a whole fucking book about it for the last two years, and Wax has just been like, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> I, 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 I really did. I thought, I thought. I really thought it was like something. Some people didn't want to argue or something. I got anxiety. Just leave me alone. And yeah. I was like, they do though. And talking to a big motherfucker like you would increase yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cold. I bring people anxiety. You induce yes. anxiety. Yeah. Yeah, you induce anxiety. <laughs> what do you mean? Right, so I'm a. I need to be a, a pill or something to stop it. I don't want that to happen. A paler? A pill. That's a strong friend. You can't say stuff like that. Oh, that's, that's what I'm right. saying. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't. Yeah. Be strong you can, or not. You can, exactly. <laughs> you can't have it both fucking ways, Go ahead and cry. Go ahead and cry. You nigga. strong or not, bro? <laughs> like what you talking about? <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I was just super excited for it. And I just couldn't, I don't know, it was both. I was like, couldn't wait to be on stage. I really wanted to be on there. And I just tried to soak in the moment. That's what I tried but to do. But it felt like you were supposed to be there. Yeah. Yes, that's how I feel. Why? Because you prepared, you yeah. think? Yeah, it's like, uh, they say like it takes 15 years to be an overnight success. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, or 13 years, whatever long I've been doing this. But like, yeah, it just felt, it felt right. It felt... It felt good. I've always thought like that. Like, I, I never felt like I didn't deserve this. I always felt like I had to, like, I convinced myself it was going to happen in my mind before mm -hmm. it happened. That's like, right. I posted yeah. that picture yeah. of, like, the, right. the note I wrote myself. Like, 13 years ago, I wrote a note. I'm going to sell out massive venues, have the best show in comedy. I kept in my wallet you made for 13 it real. years. So it's like, 13 years ago, I convinced myself this was going to happen. That's so right. by the time it happens, I'm not like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But there's also all this gratitude, which is like, holy shit. Yeah, that's when you realize God is real. Yeah. yeah. And, you, and you realize the power of positive thinking is real. You know what I mean? Bro. You can really manifest things. That's why I'm so scared of my thoughts because, you know, everything that I'm doing right now is literally oh because of my thoughts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like the things that you want to happen in your life, you should Bro. constantly think about. The things you don't want to happen, you got to dismiss that shit. That's why meditation yeah, and all that yes, stuff is good. You yes. got to get them negative thoughts up out of you. And mm -hmm. we live in this social media era where like, People will always give their opinion of you. Yeah. But when you end up in situations like you were at this weekend selling out these shows or like the Comedy Central show coming, it's just like, yo, you realize other people's opinion of you does not have any impact on your destiny whatsoever. Yeah. Ever, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Other people have made it alive. He made it alive when you write it down. When you write something, that's right. You yeah. make it alive. That's right. So now it got to grow. Bishop T.D. Jake said that uh, in his sermon. Yeah, he, he did this great sermon this weekend called "Hurdles to uh, Hurdles to Wholeness." I watched that. Really oh powerful. my God! Really Bishop T.D. Jakes was like, "Yo, yeah. other people's opinion." Um, he said he he said he he said he really started to excel when he realized 
his growth was not predicated on other people's opinions about him. Mm. It don't even matter. It don't matter. It don't matter what other people think of you. It matters about what you think of you and what God thinks of you. Mm. And that's it. Because everybody out here got a bunch of false narratives anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, bro, that's it. They, like, they designed to take us down so God could get the glory, though. They don't so even know what they're talking about. It. But they designed to take us down so God could get the glory. And that's, it don't that's work. Part of this that's right. Thing. That's right. It don't work. Like, God bless them. God bless anybody who got anything negative to say. Any lie you want to spread, any false narratives, Perfect. none of that does anything to a person that is focused on their destiny and who is ordained by God. Yeah. Let's go. Y'all just the weapons that don't prosper. Mm-hmm. That's literally <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 just got, you just got to make sure that you're not the weapon causing yourself not to prosper. Because mm-hmm. that's the other thing. Yeah. Sometimes wear that weapon. We'd be like, oh, weapons formed against me won't prosper. You the weapon. About yeah. yourself. As long as you realize, as long as your belief system is... <laughs> strong and you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing and believe, you believe in who you are and you believe in God, you good. Yeah. So, so, so you're saying is like when you say, uh, don't let my weapons formed against me should prosper and then got your car break down. It might be because you was out here wild and smashing a bunch of girls and all that type of stuff. No, or maybe just the saying? car's fucked up. No, I'm just saying. Like, maybe you need God, oil. God, God <laughs> might. Maybe you got a bad engine. <laughs> why are you blaming God I'm for mechanical saying, failure? I'm just saying. When, he's, when you say that, you don't know why he's going to swing or where he's going to come Man, from. Man, God don't care about I'm your car. God say. told you, dumbass, to put oil in the car. You just, <laughs> it, the gauge is right there. You <laughs> saw that the car needed oil. I'm agreeing with his ass. And he still he's still don't get it. This guy right here. I know. Reddit hates when we do this. And for years, even on YouTube, they be like, they argue about the same point. That's the whole point of the podcast. That's this whole podcast. That's what I'm saying. This guy right here will be on E and then wonder why he on the side of the road. And they'd be like, man, God don't like me today. No. Word up. <laughs> no, 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 he saved me for something. If I had prayed earlier, thank God I didn't get at that point because right at that point, if I had got there, something would have happened. No, if so you'd have God, just stopped and put gas in the car, you'd have been fine. I get it, but God, if he wanted me to have a gas station nearby for me to get to it, he would have had it there. This is why Jesus yeah. ain't coming back, because y'all giving him so much credit <laughs> for shit that he don't got nothing to do with. And he want to prove to y'all, I have nothing to do with that. I want Jesus to really send a sign and tell y'all, I'm not coming back. So stop blaming don't shit on me. That. I have I'm nothing to do with don't this. Tell me that. He ain't coming back. I think we're on our last legs. Now, tell him about the What Podcast real quick. Oh, you yeah. and Mouse. The What Podcast, every Monday, new episode. It's hosted by me and Mouse Jones. Yeah. And uh, we pretty much have like barbershop talk conversations, Please. as you would call it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we answer a question. So like uh, we did Best Female in Rap. Uh, are white rappers still white rappers? We did like a f- giving our flowers episode to the 10-year anniversary Please. of Watch the Throne. It's for like hip hop heads. How really. do you spell it? The what? Oh, the what? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. I had no clue what she said. I thought you said the what? Yeah. I, yeah, think I the thought what. you said the what? The what? The what? The what? Hip hop. The what? Executive the. produced by my guy Darren Byrne. D block. Hey, hey D block. Hey. You know. You. Now, is the what a Method Man song? Yes. Me- Biggie Smalls and Method. Biggie Man. Biggie Smalls and Method Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what? That's a great song. Yeah. But they keep saying the what? what right. What? 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 Right? No man, no. fuck the world. Don't ask me for <laughs> shit. Well, what, what's that? What? What? what, what song? Oh, that's Nori, man. What's oh, what, 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 Super what, Thug. What? 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 what, 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 what? <laughs> that's Nori. <laughs> Super <laughs> Thug. Yeah. Salute to No. You can check drink. Catch Drink Champs on the Black Effect uh, iHeartRadio yes. Podcast Network too. What but, is the? What is? Sorry. What is the? What is the? The line I'm talking thinking about which from one? that song from the one. Is that the the Biggie verse? Fuck that! I preach it. My nine reaches. Is that no? The... It's when uh Biggie man, there's so many lines. When Biggie be like deep like the mind of Farrakhan, a motherfucking rap phenomenon. phenomenon. Then Meth goes, I got more Glocks and texts than you. you. I make you hot. He just won't even stand next, next to, to you. you. Nigga, touch me. You better bust me three times in the head. A motherfucker dead. Who, who would they go so do? Red man and Meth man. Who would they go against? They, they went up against shit. each other. Oh, they did? Yeah, they did it already. They oh, went against shit. each other. I didn't even know that. They went against up. each other. I thought it should have been Red Man and Method Man versus Busting Rhymes. For sure. Yeah. That would have been Bustin dope. Busting Rhymes by himself? Yes. Now, Bust yeah. Guy got his hype man. What's his hype man name? Spliff. Spliff yeah. Star. Salute to Spliff. Salute to Spliff. Spliff, what up? But I do think we're on our last legs. As a... Planet. Yeah, you've been saying really? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's... I, think it's I heard that. something today that I kind of hear what you're saying. I think, okay, go. Why? Why I mean, between that? climate change... Uh, between the eventual collapse of American democracy, it's on the way, people. It's wow. inevitable at this point. Wow. Um, COVID. You know, I think COVID is just the first. <clears throat> hey, say it. I took a test this morning. I'm fine. Um, I think yeah, COVID is just the first of many plagues that are going to be impacting what the word globe. Did you just say? You know what the fuck I mean? Diseases. I don't. 
Plagues? Yes, and then you got that. Pl- uh, hold plagues, on. bro. Hold plagues. on, plagues. Hold plagues? on. Plagues? Hold on. What the fuck is a plague? Listen, I'll be, I'm over here like, Holy another word I don't know. A yeah. plague. <laughs> hold on. And then you got the shit, uh, the fucking permafrost pandemic. Ooh. You know what that is, right? What? No. The permafrost pandemic where like all of the glaciers and shit are melting. So all these diseases that's been under the ice for all these Let's go. tens of thousands of years. That's what I'm talking oh, so, about. So when I used to watch those movies and they seen the people in an all spaced out suit, like the breathing suit. That's, that's what you think we headed to? Yeah. No, we that we passed that. We in the hazmat suits now, baby. You think so? We in hazmat suits now. And climate change, yo, it's so it was 112 degrees <laughs> in Sicily two days ago. It's southern down there, bro. This this like a hundred and twelve summer. One hundred and sixteen. What you want? Listen, listen, I used to play in Arizona when I was training. It was one hundred and eleven degrees in Arizona. No way. Yeah. No. Point. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about, Arizona? I was in one hundred and eleven. Yes. And I was practicing that shit. Well, climate change has been going on for a long time. We should. Yeah. Have been <laughs> Maybe God this damn. is the climate, that, bro. That, Maybe that's this why, why we got electric bro, cars right now. Think, that's why everybody need to get an electric car. You ever seen the huh? Because the smoke is was messing the earth up, right? There's a lot of things messing the earth up. Cow farts. Cow, exactly. No way. Don't fucking yeah. littering in the ocean. You smoke blunts. You don't think that's messing the earth up? Putting tobacco in the air? Yeah. No. Also. Dang, that, that just hit you. <laughs> exactly. I'm yeah. messing the earth up. You ever seen up? the last episode of Dinosaurs? You remember that show Dinosaurs, bro? The cartoon? The, it was a it was a claymation that used to come on TGIF. That is the saddest last episode of a TV show <laughs> For ever. Kids. Wait, why, why? For adults, too. Why, what happened? Because you forget the whole premise of the show was it was like a family sitcom based on this, this family of dinosaurs. Okay. You I'm forget the, the how baby. the dinosaurs went. Exactly. Yeah. Dinosaurs went extinct. So what happened at the last episode? The Ice Age. No. <laughs> and the little baby is sitting there with the family and the dad's like, oh, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. And the baby's like, are we going to be okay, mommy and daddy? Yeah, they're, they're like, carpet up. Yeah. Yes. But I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather freeze than burn, though. Well, guess what? We oh. about to burn, baby, burn, goddamn. I, be, I believe if, it, if it's going to be so hot, that means it's going to be so cold. They said in 10 years, it's going to be so unbearable that you're not even going to be able to go outside during the day in the summertime. They said that's how hot it's, that's how in, hot it's going to be. Unless years. we reverse course on this climate change shit. Yo, that shit is the saddest sit, uh, series for now ever. You, All right, so what we got to do? Recycle? <laughs> <laughs> like what is what is that? How are we gonna help this shit? I don't know. I'm not the climate change expert, but I think recycling shit. may help. I don't know. I don't know. I was I never recycle. You never I'm seen dinosaurs? You seen dinosaurs, bro? I remember that little baby yeah, dinosaur. Yes, yeah, I'm the baby. Yo, that shit like that. is so sad. They're all parked up. They got all their like clothes on and shit. I used to like that that shirt he had on. I had one. And it ends with the baby saying, "Are we gonna be okay, mommy and daddy?" And they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna be fine." I don't. I honestly didn't know they were dinosaurs. That is sad as fuck. The ice age took them out, bro. I think we had to that look at shit. it like that. I was like, damn, it's over. And le- that, but hey, man. But it's not sad. Imagine life if they were still around. That'd be so stressful. You thought you had anxiety now? And guess no. what? You know, you got to run hey, away If they was around, I mean, bro. we get and bigger buildings. Things would be so much faster. You think they're going to work for us? In a million years, it's going yes. to be a new species saying that shit about humans. Mm-hmm. Especially when they go on the internet. Like, I'm so glad these motherfuckers ain't around. Yeah. No more. <laughs> you know what I'm All saying? these girls do is twerk. That's right. What the fuck? <laughs> this twerk, generation? This was intelligence? This guy used to call intelligence back in the day? The motherfuckers, oh, they, they went to space. They probably listened you to this show. You know what I mean? Show. Meanwhile, they're going to have fucking Virgin Atlantic going to different planets. And we was hyped about people going to space. They're going to look at us so fucking primitive in the future, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, this shit is, I'm telling you, I think we on our last legs, man. I really do. I don't buy it. Well, well, God you don't want to buy it because you popping. I'm the same <laughs> way. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like, damn, wait, right now. Wait, wait till now. now. I can't. Let me, let me we can see more, bro. We can see the billions. Uh, <laughs> you wait till now to do this shit. But hey, man, these dates off, yo. Infamous it, tour. It is what it is, man. Live your life the best way you know how, bro. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's pay some bills and come back and do uh, ask an idiot. Okay. All right. Salute to all people at Freshly. Okay. Uh, we love Freshly, man. You know what I mean? Freshly delivers fresh meals like they're delivered fresh. They arrive fresh. 
Okay, we're all trying to get in shape and eat right. Freshly can help. Their delicious meals are designed by nutritionists and cooked by chefs, making it easier to eat better. Grocery shopping and cooking can be a pain, especially right now. With Freshly, you don't have to, okay? Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week so you can keep your fridge stocked and skip the trip to the store. Ordering is easy. Visit Freshly.com and choose from over 30 delicious, satisfying, better-for-you meals like steak peppercorn, sausage baked panini, or their chicken pesto bowl. Freshly can fit your lifestyle with a variety of plans and meals to pick from that work for your dietary needs, preferences, taste, and family size. And now, our listeners can try Freshly for just six sixteen per meal. Stop searching the internet for healthy food near me every night and start living life freshly. Your meals are always delivered fresh, never frozen, and are ready to heat and enjoy in just three minutes. With new meals added each week. Freshly brings the convenience of chef-made nutritionist design classics right to your kitchen. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders. When you go to Freshly.com slash idiots, stop stressing about dinner, man. Go to Freshly.com slash idiots for $40 off your first two orders. That's Freshly.com slash idiots for $40 off your first two orders. Now, what else we got, shows? Who else sponsoring us this week? This episode is also sponsored by Upstart. Are you carrying a credit card balance month after month? You're not the only one. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help. Join the thousands of happy borrowers who have made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or fund or funding personal expensive, uh, expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments Today, when you go to upstart.com slash idiots, that's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. One loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash idiots. Now let's get back to the show. Taylor Gang. What we got for asking idiots? These from Reddit or these from, uh, they from Reddit? Okay, okay. Oh, give him the give him the, nah, give uh give him the mic. Okay. I'll do some fun. Let's do it. Let's Idiots. knock out three of these asking Word. idiots. All right. So we got a uh, from Reddit. God tier throwaway. Uh, true or false? Demanding praise diminishes the accomplishment. Demanding praise diminishes the accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it depends. Um, I think that when you have a history of accomplishments. And I take, for example, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy started getting his his credit young. when he no, not when he was young. When he came on Breakfast Club and told y'all, I'm oh, fucking big peace. soldier. Yeah, mm. Look at all the things that I've fucking done. I'm the first to do this. I'm the first to do that. And people took a step back and was like, Oh shit, he's right. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I think in that aspect, yeah, demanding. You know, your praise kind of worked for him. But in other aspects, you know, I think that when you're doing it in real time, you know, you got to let the crowd, got to let the crowd give you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's you so much I mean? better. Even when he did it, it's like for him at the do it came from a frustrating place. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, you don't yeah, want yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. be able to get and it now, on his now it's unfortunately almost like a joke. You know, it's like yeah. people are satirizing him with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The thing about respect, I told, I was literally having this conversation with Act this weekend, salute to academics. I was like, yo, the thing about respect is that the people that respect you are going to respect you. The people that don't, they're not. Yeah. No matter what you do, they're there never going to give it up for you. They're going to try to find a way to hate <laughs> every single time. And the, and the more you grow, the more you evolve, the bigger you get. All of that good stuff. They gonna find even more reasons to say you yeah, ain't man. shit. You, you I'm know a, what I mean? I'm able to afford to cut grass and see the snakes. Now. Word up! Whether it's the dude in your hometown, be like, ah, I went to school with him. His daddy was on drugs. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? I ain't getting no girl nothing. in school. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, if it's some wild shit like they, they always try to do to us or me, like, I know, yo, I remember he said this on the air and it's not like who get like who cares, yeah. bro? Like you're gonna continue to grow. You're gonna continue to evolve. And the people that respect it are gonna salute it. The people that don't. They're going to always have something negative to say. So yeah. it is what it is. You're never going to get respect from everybody. Yeah. It's just not happening. Period. Yeah. You want to balance, though. 
What else we got? All right. So we got Chocolate Chef 16. Uh, how do the fellas feel about the white celebrities There's, uh, recently admitting they don't bathe or they don't wash their legs and arms because the water just gets down to it? Take it away, Schultz. These your people. <laughs> I was I was looking into this. How you I feel about like, these niggers not washing? <laughs> 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 How you feel? Um, I mean, it's not surprising. Like, but white people, we joke around about that a lot. And I'm realizing that's something that black people don't really joke around. With. I don't think they joking. No, no, no. Like, what I'm saying is, we, we'll just be comical about the fact that we haven't showered in a day or two. They'd be like, man, I need a shower. I haven't showered in two days. Yeah. But I think like in black culture, that is preposterous. No, yeah, no, no, we wash. No, no. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't like it. You I haven't washed. Every 365 days of the year, I wash 340. Uh, I think 350. I mean, that's a good ah, number. 335. I'll probably wash 180. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? This is well, the you're thing. preposterous. I didn't think. This is the thing. I take two showers a day. No, that's crazy. That's I take wild. one in the morning. So you make take 600 fucking showers a year? Yeah, look at you caring about the environment using what? all the goddamn water. <laughs> he did six, almost 700 showers a year. Huh? I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times More two. than 700 I take one in the morning, year. and I take Fuck. one before I go to bed. I yeah, can't believe true. y'all feel this way about washing, bro. No, like, it's not that. It's just I probably like, shower, if I'm honest, I probably night. shower like five days a week. I probably shower. Damn. Six. What are you white? Like, six for me. Six years. Why are y'all bragging five, about this? Wash your ass. Like, yeah. It's normal. No, it's you normal. Mean? I mean, you nasty. Nah, nah. No. <laughs> what you mean? I, nasty. I always shower if I work I'm out. Nasty. So that's no, what, you're nasty. Listen, what, 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 listen. What, 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 what. that time you was in Myrtle Beach? Listen, this guy. You, you want to do this? I got that, a couple. This guy shows. was nasty as hell. What he no? did? What he did? It's his fault. He was right. It was a hundred degree climate change, heat in South Carolina. Yeah. He riding around on the bike all day, smashed about two, three chicks. Right. Come back, to, oh, yo, I'm tired, I'm tired. Like, let's go to the club. No, like, nah, I said, like, I didn't want to go. I was going like, to take nah, a shower. Like, y'all got to take a shower. Like, nah, nah, let's go, 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 let's go. We get to the club, I'm like, this motherfucker stink, yo. He ain't he washed all day. everybody <laughs> in the fucking club that I didn't wash that He ain't washed all day. All day. <laughs> Slept with three girls. He ain't washed all day. Smell them. Oh, my life for years. <laughs> He got me too. He that is me. disgusting. Man, I ain't gonna tell nobody, man. Come on, that man. That is gross as shit. What you worried about? Man, we get there. Yo, wax a shower. You fuck three girls. <laughs> 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 Baby, this was a long time ago. This was definitely long. This was like 17, 18 years ago. It was a long Literally, time. Yes. But I, yeah, I, here's my thing about the not washing. Why are they volunteering this information? So that's the thing. Why is this a conversation? <laughs> that's the thing. Why? I think, I think this is like right wing audiences. Love to hear people shit on Hollywood celebrities. Yeah. So I think what it is is conservative media trying to create a new thing to shit on Hollywood about. Mm. And they're making it look like it's a trend. But if you listen to the conversations that these people are having, they're kind of saying it together, like jokingly, like, yeah, sometimes I won't shower. Like, oh, I just let the water wash my feet. That's what they're but not. But why? How is this coming up in conversation? What are they talking about? People, we talk like home. that. We, we will say, like, do you wash your feet? We'll be like, man, I'll just let the soap suds get down there. Like, that is a common conversation wow. amongst white people. And <laughs> That's it, hilarious. sometimes we say it for that reaction <laughs> yeah. from other white people because we know some white people are like, man, it's fucking disgusting. And then some would be like, man, I kind of do that shit too. Now, Yuck. <laughs> I mean, that's our superpower, our immune system. You realize yeah. that, right? It's like, we've just been able to yes. handle Yeah, outside running in the fucking cold. Yes. In New York City. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? Living I'm in front of the building and, and I see years. a white person with no shirt on. Yep. And I'm, I'm like this, bundled the fuck up. But now we Shandles. know why. That dirt keeping them warm. That dirt mm, from not washing is a layer layers. that's keeping them from, from freezing <laughs> that's the North Face. I always say like listen they ain't, a lot of rich people they sit around the house they don't have so much things to do mm -hmm. so they just sit around like what are you really going to do some days it's Friday or Saturday I ain't got nothing to do I ain't doing nothing all day mm -hmm. I might fall asleep on the couch and might not take a shower that's it disgusting what do you think these rich people are doing you think they're running around picking up boxes and shit like they're that not they're not doing chilling. nothing they nothing. chilling Maybe the girl because it's like moistly and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, the girl should probably because there's interior. That's stuff. what I'm saying. It's like yeah. things that's moving around for no reason. Yeah, white people wash your body. Okay, wash your ass. Let's wash get one more. All right, last one. Uh, we got fair cause seven four three two. 
If you had one phone call in jail and you had to call someone on the Brilliant Idiots team, who would you call? You already you, know. Who would you not call you and why? Know. You already know who's getting you out of jail. I already got one guy out of jail. I already got one guy out of jail. Like, just you uh, know who you're calling. Don't lie. Wait a minute. It's to us. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so fuck. who who would you call? Who would you not call? And I'm why? not calling Charlotte. He don't pick up his phone. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I, I can I can say without a shadow of a doubt, there's not one brilliant idiot member in my emergency context. <laughs> I'm not calling nobody in this room. It all depends on now. If you know you, no, you don't. they got you and you got to lock, get locked up for a couple of days, call me. I might know a couple of people in there that might hold you down, get you some <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? If I know I'm getting locked up and there might be a possibility I could get out, I'm calling Schultz. You, white, you use your white privilege. Exactly. Go highlight these people. I got you. And if I need them to, for Charlemagne to tell them something to get their mind off of what the fuck I did, tell them about some shit in Myrtle Beach that's going to get me in trouble when I get home, I'm going to call Cheryl. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm not calling nobody. <laughs> You're just going to stomach it? You're going to take it? I'm calling my wife. I mean, that if, wasn't if it's not question, us, I, I know Jesus. that. I'm just telling I'm you, I'm not even, either. I'm not even hypothetically having that conversation because I hope I'm <laughs> never in that situation where the yeah, only person yeah. I got to call is Wax the Schultz or nah, Taylor. That'd be fire. That's I'll hot. send your ass a voicemail so quick. <laughs> I'll be like this. I'll be like, hello. You'd be like, Schultz, you're in jail. I'll be like, you reach Andrew Schultz. If you have a message, you just Bro, leave Taylor it Taylor can tone. barely find asking idiots questions. How's she going to find us a bond? That's a good ass point. Shit. Like, That's come on, guys. I'm telling you, I might know somebody in there that holds you down. At least if you're in for 30 days. I mean, for a couple of days or whatever, for whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. It's possible. Hey, man. Uh, hey, man. We did it. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.